As Women's History Month wraps up, we're shining a light on women who've made a difference and deserve to be recognized. Janelle Blue has spent time with one woman who reached for the moon. At just 22 years old, Poppy Northcutt had no idea what life had in store. We were basically taught that, you know, the whole goal of going to college was to get married. But today, she's a trailblazer, a women's rights activist, and the first female engineer to work with NASA. I got that job right out of college. I had a math degree. Starting out as a computress. I thought it was a little weird that I was called a female computer. Northcutt broke through the glass ceiling and climbed her way to engineer, the first female engineer. And it just occurred to me, I'm as smart as these guys, okay? And just a year Years later, her expertise in helping astronauts come home from the moon landed her the title of the first woman inside a NASA control room. Working on the Apollo 8 mission, she was even there for the lunar landing. It's one small step for man. So I worked over in the control center on 8, 10, 11, 12, and 13. But even after five Apollo missions, Poppy found a new passion. My attitude was, I'm here. I'm a woman, get used to it. Even though they shared the same title, Northcutt knew her male co-workers were making more money. So I became very interested in women's rights, okay? Having experiences discrimination. And she saw women in her field were still few and far between. It wasn't so much that they were being turned down, they just never knew they had the option of trying to get in line. I mean, you know, that's the ideal way to oppress people is to keep them from ever showing up in the first place. Poppy went off to become an attorney, advocate, and activist, marching in the 1970 Women's Strike for Equality. And getting the passage of the Texas Equal Legal Rights Amendment to our state constitution. She's done so much, but still. We still have a ways to go. The fight isn't finished. You just have to keep going, and the main thing I would say is you've got to be politically involved. I mean, if you don't want this to happen to you, you've got to take action. You can't just sit around and be passive about it. In Houston, Janelle Blue to KHOU 11 News.